Gaffer, a big win this afternoon. What's your assessment of the game? Big win. Big, 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 big win. Uh, expectation levels were high, you know, and I don't think we started the game brightly, but we responded superbly. And I'm really pleased for the players to show courage. Yes, they made mistakes. Yes, it wasn't perfect, but they got what we needed, which was a win. And sometimes, like, you know, that's the biggest compliment you can pay the players, the courage that they've shown, you know, and the desire to uh, represent not just myself, but the supporters, you know, BWFC. I suppose you never want to add too much pressure to games in the build-up to them, but did the group sense the importance of the, the games there? Well, we don't know how important it is. I think it was probably more important personally, you know, and again, for Southend, you know, because we're expected to go down. You know, the football world, you know, outside of Bolton expects us to get relegated. So that's what the word on the football grapevine is, they've got no chance, no chance. So there was probably more pressure on Southend, but in our own world, our BWSC world, we and I expect us to compete and beat Southend. And we have done today, but it wasn't easy, and it's not easy. This is very difficult, the situation we're in. And I understand the history. Bolton Wanderers, Premier League Cup, beating Southend. I understand it, and I get the psychology from the Bolton supporters, but reality is, it's very, very difficult at this moment in time for us. We went a goal down early on. We didn't start the game particularly well. How pleasing was it then to see the response? Great, super. Yeah. I'm really pleased with the players' response, their attitude, their application, to turn it around because you could become a victim of circumstance and the opposition playing well. But we didn't. We didn't become a victim. We certainly stood up, we were counted, and the players were brave. And, and, and they took they took Southend on and they took a little bit of negativity, you know, which was in the stadium because we were gone one nil down against the team that everybody had expected us to beat. And we turned it around, so I'm really pleased for the players. And elements of real quality to each of the three goals today. Brilliant. They were really good finishes, superb. You know, and uh, I'm pleased with the victory. Pleased to go into uh, you know Boxing Day. Pleased to go into Christmas celebrating, you know, with all the other Bolton supporters. Uh, you know, and hopefully that's like our own form's good. I complain about our own form. Did nerves creep in when Tim Dieng's had a half the deficit near the end there? Probably. But you've got to deal with it, haven't you? I said during the week, you know, if you put yourself out there to compete, as well as winning, you have to you have to understand that there'll be times when you lose football matches. Uh, and when that goal went in, we needed to be better at game management. But we got it done, it didn't there wasn't an equaliser. There's probably the loudest roar we've heard at a full-time whistle here this season. What were your emotions at the full-time whistle? Tired. I played a game there today. I played more than one game. It's been it's been a really enjoyable three months, but it's almost like I've been here three, four, four years. Uh, the work that everyone's gone through, the, honestly, I can't explain to you the, the, the work that the players and the staff are going through on a daily basis just to get the team out there. Uh, because I expect to win football matches. I'm trying to represent Bolton, my own values, with this, you know, magnificent, uh, you know, team. Uh, we've got to be better, but uh, emotionally, I'm shattered.